there you go. How's the, how's it, how's, how do you feel like the energy has been with the new, with some of your new teammates in the offensive line and some of the new looks and things that are going on? Just what's that been like, first impressions? Uh, I think it's been great. I mean, obviously, I was going to say that, but, <laughs> you know, so a lot of these guys, they've been here since spring, and I feel like this is, we're really, we're really tight. We get along. We're really good friends. We sit together at lunch every day. I was talking about O-line specifically right now. We watch film together. We do treatment together we're just always together like I would say we're just like a band of friends to be completely honest and we just motivate each other like for instance last night in our group chat with no coaches just players Des sends us uh, Des Holmes sends us a pic, uh, video of this Peyton Manning tribute about mastering every day and all of us are just like man that's so good <laughs> but that's, just like, that's just like a testament of st stuff that we do together you know what do you think about um, Joey Ramos? He's sort of been the jack of all trades, it seems mm -hmm. like, at this point, getting a little bit on the outside of tackle, some at center. What do you feel like he brings to this line? Uh, I think I think it's um, impressive for any lineman that can play multiple positions. Like, I know that's not easy. Like, right, I, yeah. I've struggled with that in the past. And um, But I think anybody that can do that is a valuable person, so I've been very impressed by his ability to do that. So, Darius, what's your take on Emery and what he brings to the offense in terms of skill set, leadership, that sort of thing? Oh yeah, I. Did, were you guys at practice today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I th I feel like we had a really good day today. He had a really good day today. Um, his energy was great. Um, you saw he threw some great balls today. I like. I just like the like the way he goes about things. He's a pro professional person, so I think he's had a really good impression on all of us in the offense. To be quite honest, so it's been good. How how does his skill set compare with Jaden's in your opinion? Um. Let's see. Uh, I don't know, I'll do, I'll do another question. That's, okay. that's a tough one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Darius, when did you start to feel comfortable as a, as a leader? Uh, to be quite honest, probably, I've, I've never really minded it because that's just what we did in high school with our head coach, John Kidna. He was just a person that wanted to breed leaders. Like we had a leadership council in high school. We had, I was a captain there, and it was all about accountability and um, team and discipline. And then we got here, it's like, you know, you have extremely high expectations for college. So the first time you see one person do something that isn't correct, you're like, what's going on? That's kind of how our culture was in high school. So when I got here, it's kind of like, you're not getting extra work on Saturday? What's going on? Like, just, even if I saw one person do that. So just when our seniors left, like I told you, they're senior heavy our freshman year. I feel like it was just like a role that needed to be filled there. So I didn't mind it at all. What have you done specifically to be more of a leader? Um, the thing is, I feel like a lot of things I've been, I'm doing this year, I did last year. Now I just have a patch on my jersey, you know? So it's, it's more like attention for it, but really not much has changed. Like in the off season, lead footwork. And I mean, and it's, not a, it's not a solo thing. Like I have teammates like Ben Scott and, and we have guys like Des Holmes. It makes being a leader easy. We have guys that just want to be, that just want to be great and want to attack every day. Like it's, you don't have to try to really, really motivate somebody that does, isn't motivated. Like these guys are motivated. So they honestly make it easy for me. Like it, having Des Holmes, he could, he's another guy. He can honestly be, he can honestly be a captain. Like to have two guys like that on the offensive line is phenomenal. Your coaches have talked about leadership groups. I, you're part of those, I assume. What have those kind of been like? Um, it's been great. We talk about we talk about a lot of things, such as specifically this entire summer. We're like, hey, our coaches they don't play. They can they can run us as much as they want. They can um, drill us as much as they want. But what are we really going to do to hold each other accountable for these for these penalties? What are we really going to do to make sure? Our team is moving in a positive direction with so many people leaving leaving this team. Even though we're gaining so many people, what are we going to do to make sure that the people that we're gaining understand the culture that we want to set here? So that's just the type of conversations that we have, uh, me, Kyle Soli, and we just make it happen. Like when the new guy comes in, we right on it right away. They, and they are. Like we have guys that are amazing that just got here like Roe, Torrance, he just comes in, and Emery, like these guys just come in, adopt the culture, and then spread it out. Like, and then they're, they're implementing it to other people, you know? And I think that's what makes a good team.
you guys are paving the way for a little bit of a retooled backfield with obviously X and, and now Daniel getting more of a workload. What's what have you kind of seen from them, and, and how do you feel like it sort of differs from from last year with the dynamic duo that you had back there last year? Um, you're so white, you know. We have a guy like that, right? You know, that's that's hard to do. But now I feel like we have two two good backs, and you, I mean, you know. X, he was a good, we, I feel like since I've been here, we've always had a really good running back. Yeah. From Eno to Rashad to X and Danny. And now we have both of those guys back there. And they have such different running styles. But they're just so efficient at what they do. And then it's kind of, we, whenever they don't have a good run, the old line we kind of take it upon ourselves like, man, we let them down because we know what they can do. It's not like they're just straight up missing holes or anything because they're right. talented guys. Mm -hmm. So those are guys that I feel like, you know, you have guys that, you might look at it and be like, you don't sell me enough to really believe in you. That's not those guys. We really believe in X and Danny, so. What do you think they're capable of in terms of just like an overall package this year? Oh yeah, I think they're capable of a large workload as an offensive lineman. I want to feed them as much as possible. When they eat, I eat. So <laughs> I hope they're capable of a lot. Speaking of that, there was a lot of talk last year about just the balance between how much you guys are passing and how much you guys are running. Has there been any talk about that so far in camp, and what are you kind of expecting from that? Well, we're going to do what, what our strengths are. You know, yeah. what, what we're succeeding yeah, at is what we're going to do. As offensive linemen, if we can succeed at power and counter and inside and outside zone every play, you know, that's not a problem for me. You know, I like that. But uh, I think – I, I love it if we were running them all more, but I just want to win games, so I don't really care. Both Jaden and Emery are both pretty athletic. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any differences in terms of, you know, Daniel's kind of like to run out of pocket a lot and be a little bit off script. Have you seen that from Emery, or is he a little bit more in pocket? Is there any differences between blocking for him? Um, blocking? The thing is, I, I never really understood that as an offensive lineman, a, a difference in blocking. Like, if I was blocking for Lamar Jackson or Tom Brady, my main job is just to not give up a sack. So, like, there's no difference in blocking. But um, I, they, they have some similarities. They also have some differences. But it doesn't really change much for me, you know. What would you say those differences are? Um, I would say their different ability in the pass game. I mean, Jaden is a, like, a, like a extremely good runner of the football. Like, he has some flat – his – not to, you know, really <laughs> pat him on the back too much right here, but he does some crazy, he can do some crazy stuff with his legs that we've seen. And Embry can too, but I mean, I've been playing with Jaden for three years now and Embry for like three months, but I've, I'm very optimistic about Embry. What have you thought of uh, X? Oh, extremely impressed. Extremely impressed. X is, um, he's a leader, which is naturally... He's a hard worker. He extra work, extra treatment. There's nothing that you're not gonna see him doing. He doesn't mind being a guy that has to bring up the offense and let him let us know. Like he's a guy who's such a good leader. He'll bring us up if we're having a good day, just to say, man, today was awesome. Like he did today, and you know what you're getting out of him. He's a he's a, he's a hard worker, smart. I really don't have a negative thing I can say about him, to be quite honest. And I'm, that's not just because he's my teammate. If I, if I did, I'd tell you. <laughs> Are there any players that stick out to you in, in terms of they've improved a lot over between last season and now? Um, can we go from spring ball to now? Yeah. Um, Chris Martinez. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, Jalen Conyers. Um, <laughs> not just because he's right there, but actually, I'm very impressed. Um, I would say those two for sure. 